Howdy, it's Tubal Cain again. This is a picture of a sundial. I think we all know what a sundial is. Well, when I was in third grade, my teacher, Mrs. Henkel of Roosevelt School, showed us how to make a big sundial. So, I don't know if this is going to show up very well, but I drove this red and white stake into the ground and made a radius with orange marking paint that goes all the way around. Hopefully you can see that. So this is my big sundial. I did this for my eight-year-old grandson who has little or no interest in it, so I thought maybe somebody on YouTube would. So the rod casts a shadow. However, the shadow's falling a little short now because it's the noonday sun. It's really about uh, one o'clock here in Illinois. And uh, in order to mark it now, I would have to extend the line out slightly with a rod. And then I would mark it right here where my foot is, perhaps right there with the orange marking paint. And then I would put a one o'clock on there, the same as I did a 12 o'clock and a 11 and not much before that. 10 o'clock is the earliest I got up this week, so. But you can see over here on the other side, we got three, four, five, six, and seven. So this would be something interesting to do as a science project or um, for some of your kids or your grandkids. Give this a try sometime. Use this orange marking paint like they use when they're marking the roads. Okay, it's later in the day. See if you can tell what time it is. There's the shadow. Looks like it's almost four o'clock. It's almost Miller time, I would say. This is July in north central Illinois, so you can see the shadow is much longer at four o'clock than what it was in the earlier uh, part of the video. Hope you enjoyed this. This is Tubal Cain saying so long for now.